Hardware 4 leaks. Hardware 4. Oh, it has man. been too long. We knew it was coming. It is finally... The, the leaks have come, and there is some really cool and exciting news, and also yep. some really depressing sad news. Um, yeah, agreed. So, my man, <laughs> Green the Only... I don't know him at all. I've never spoken to him, but I have a lot of respect for him as an engineer and someone who's reverse engineered things before. He is the guy that reverse engineers a lot of the Tesla computer stuff, infotainment, uh, you know, uh, self-driving hardware, all that kind of stuff, ECU, MCU, all that. And he has posted some leaks on Twitter, uh, basically showing that uh, hardware four here, they've got the boards that he's got the physical hardware. Here's, here's what it looks like. Here's what the chips are. Here's the connectors, all that kind of stuff. So all the good, good geeky the, stuff. The good news. <laughs> let's start with the good news. The good news um, is basically they've made some improvements. Uh, the infotainment's still basically the same. Same processor, same GPU. They they did uh, adjust. They got rid of a daughter board. They did optimize a couple things. They improved like the power redundancy stuff like that. But it's still from the power and performance side. It's still roughly the same on the infotainment side. On the uh, self-driving side, they actually do have improvements to up to 12 camera connections. There's only 11 that are probably going to be used. One's marked as spare. The current one, I believe, has eight. So they've added additional camera options to it. Um, and it looks like, based on these wiring and things, that there will be a bumper camera. Um yeah, so you'll have, a, you'll have that camera on the nose, Doug, that you've been wanting for a while. That camera's going to finally be there, more, most likely. It's about um, time. Yeah, there's going to be cameras potentially in the headlights, right? Possibly for the corners, being able to see. Um, so there's a lot of improvements from what the capability will be as far as cameras go. There's also uh, Phoenix, the name of the improved radar, the new uh, yeah. high HD radar that the Elon's hinted at, that we talked about you know, last year. Um, because of the FCC filing. Anyway, that's finally going to be a part of it. So we've got this new radar thing coming in. We've got all these new cameras. Um, now the bad news. Mm -hmm. uh, they changed the form factor, uh, which means more than likely hardware no 3 retrofit. will not be able to retrofit. That is the the horrible, horrible news of we probably well, won't be able to upgrade. I, I don't think. I don't think even if it would fit, you could get it to work because you don't have the cabling for the extra cameras and sensors. Sure. So I mean, it. it I mean, with enough money, you can do anything. But I. I don't think you could spend the money willingly from Tesla to get everything added as an upgrade. Right. It's pretty disappointing because uh, that's what I paid. Uh, you know, I, I, when I got my car, it was 2.5 and I paid an extra, whatever I paid at two, they had a sale <laughs> for, instead, <laughs> sale. Of, instead of, instead of spending four, four thousand dollars, you save two thousand dollars. So it's two thousand dollars. So I got, I saved a whole two thousand dollars on nothing. Right? That's right. So, and and now, you spent two thousand dollars on nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, don't be negative. Um, <laughs> No, but, but the truth is, though, um, you know, I paid that mainly because, well, I want my car to be future proof. And um, sure. And when Hardware 3 came out, um, I was like, well, you know, this isn't really doing anything anyway. So I was trying to wait. I was waiting it out. I was like, maybe because I knew there was going to be a Hardware 4. I was like, maybe I'll just, you know, skip this update and uh, upgrade. And then maybe Hardware you know, 4 will come out. But, you know, obviously some some time went by. And they finally did get a feature that I wanted, which was uh, I was using autopilot quite a bit on just my local commute. And it was, you know, the one thing was at that time is it would just blow through stop signs and, and red lights. And so there was the feature of if you get hardware three, it'll actually stop at, at red lights. And that, <laughs> that, was, that was a big uh, improvement for me. Um, That's funny. Uh, cause I, I used a relatively fast road, but that, that had regular stop signs. So I went ahead and, and did the update for hardware three and, uh, but you still have the sense that, oh, okay, well, you know, it's not here yet. There's no FSD yet. Uh, but it, you know, it's coming and I've, I've paid to be future proofed. And now what they're saying is, well, with hardware three, it'll be pretty good. Uh, but hardware four will be really great, but you know. Where I'm a little irritated is I didn't I didn't expect FSD to fully work with hardware three. I'm like you, Doug. I was like, no, they're gonna they're gonna give us radar back. They're gonna give you know they're gonna do all these types of things. Um, I, part of why I bought 
and was willing to pay, you know, the 12 grand or whatever it was for FSD was, okay, well, I'll get an upgrade because in the past they've upgraded people. Um, and even if I have to pay another two grand or whatever it is, or four grand to upgrade at the time, like I would do it. Now, the fact that they're making it sound like I won't be able to upgrade at all, kind of miffed a little bit. That does kind of irritate me. Um, that being said, I'm not going to run out and sell my car and trade it in for another one or buy you know, buy a second one just to get hardware for because guess what? FSD isn't here on hardware three. It's also not here yet on hardware four. Who knows if you're not going to get to a hardware five or a hardware six before it actually fully works. So really, like, is there any reason to feel that bothered by it with your car? For the life of your car, as people have it now today, like, I wouldn't stress about it yet. I would wait and see. <laughs> wait right. and see where things go. Um, and I agree with you. As the features and things that I do use, I like them. And they're getting better. As long as they keep improving the stuff that we have, the Navigate on autopilot, all those types of things do get better with version 11. We'll see all that, you know, hopefully comes out soon. Um, then yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's not a waste to have spent money on the, having the feature available in our current hardware three cars. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's the other question one, like how good is hardware for like, for example, uh, you know, that, that cabin camera, did they have the sense to make it an infrared camera? Is there a, uh, an infrared led to illuminate the interior so that, you know, right. you can see through sun, uh, sunglasses and, and things like that. Um, and then uh, how much of a dead end is hardware three? Like how long will they support what essentially very quickly is becoming legacy right. software? Obsolete platform. Or legacy hardware. And will they, you know, actually port whatever new learnings they have uh, on hardware four back to hardware three, especially since we have, you know, different camera positions, which, uh, you know, right. it's obviously you can't just copy over the, uh, the coefficients of the neural net. Right. I mean, it, it depends. So, and that gets into a really interesting point, you know, Mike, you asked me about this before the show. Um, you know, there's some, there's some debate on like, well, how's this going to impact the software, right? We've got these models, these models are trained, you know, all this type sure. of stuff. How's that, how's that impact things? I can see architectures where it is intelligent, where there are ways to, you know, for example, having more cameras and better cameras gets you more data for mapping your representation of the world into some other kind of space. So I could see where they're mapping everything to a standardized, you know, space uh, reference. And then the neural nets that are doing all the decision-making and all that other kind of stuff are happening off of that normalized representation. So it is possible that you can have almost everything be the same. And the only thing that's different is like, the layer of using the camera feeds to turn it into, you know, their view of the world. So, so again, not saying they will do that, but that is a way they could fully support hardware three and hardware four. And with the additional cameras, it would simply allow it to have more accuracy or more detail in that spatial representation. 